I plan to do some blood splatter, but I got to do it. I think I will. I need to draw this out because it's really details. I'm going to take a buff first and I'm going to put a uh, no white top coat on it so I can buff it out. You do not use matte. Matte is a no-no when it comes to pencil. Yeah, that one I'm going to draw it out with a pencil so it's easier. Hear this? After a key for 60 seconds, you go ahead and buff it. I know, right? I love watching it, though. I wouldn't want to encounter it. But I love watching it. Yes, Peter Chewing Nail sound fun. I win now, designer. <laughs> yes, acrylic is all about timing. Yeah, you have to understand the acrylic. Most people, when they wear acrylic, and that they want to work on it immediately. You have to let it cook first. After it's cooked, then you can. Maneuver, you can stroke it. When you fall. Put it on, you have to nudge it, the bead. You cannot stroke it because it's wet. You're going to get on your cut, then you make indentation in your acrylic bead. Okay, now, I'm going to buff this. Take the buffer and then buff in the nails. Oh my God, which pens for the years? What magical pens for the years? You can just use any pencil you like. I use graphite because I just like the feel of it. But later on, I might just have it. On my website and sell it anyways. Just because. So many people ask. Okay, so. I'm going to zoom into the face. Uh, I'm going to spot out huge detail on it, okay? I see a big curve here, okay? That's an eyebrow. It's a curve. That should be easy. And then a slight curve, not as drastic. Okay, that's easy too. And then the eye, you go down. You go curve down and in. So it looks like a triangle. If you look at it, it looks like a shape at it. It's a triangle. See that, 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 that's a triangle. Remember that. You have to mix our basic shape. So now, um, the proportion of the nose is equal to half of the eyes, okay? Remember that. And then from here to here is equal to from here to here. See that? 90 degree angle, okay? And then from here to here is equal to the eye distance. See that? Remember that. And then the mouth, the mouth, no, the mouth is a little tricky. You have to start from in here. See the nose? Okay. See from here to here? The corner of the eye to here is go down all the way to the mouth. You make a little divot. After you make a little divot, then you go a curve, slightly curve, and very faintly curve. Then go ahead and draw this and then this going down but bigger in the middles, easy breezy, and then look curve, look curve, you're done. Okay? Let's start it. Easy breezy, little curve, little curve. Sorry, the uh, puppies just woke up and walked over. Lucy? And uh, <clears throat> woke up and they're had to go play. Tripped him outside for a little bit. Mm. 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 Uh, 
I think he knows about right. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Okay, so I'm going to draw the eye line. Okay. To remember the triangle. Okay, it's going down. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in this little eye part too. Okay. See how the understanding of proportion. Okay. See how the understanding of proportion. Yeah, that you can scratch. <laughs> I'm just literally, you can scratch it so you don't need to like draw and skill for this. So, it's a little <clears throat> different for the nose. A uh, little okay. bar out. Okay, let's hit the bar. Okay, the side of the nose is equal to almost at the corner of the eyes, but not quite. Like a little over a little bit. The nose, the nose right here. No, it have a red nose. How creepy! Let's paint it in. Ooh, from here to here is equal. From here to here, bam, divot, low divot. Mm -hmm. I think I think about what it is. Oh. 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 From here, the corner of the mouth have to equal to the eyeball. Okay. The corner of the mouth has to equal the eyeball. See the eyeball? Now is that standard? Going down the mm -hmm. standards, pretty much. Of course, there's some. Sometimes people have ugly face and they unproportionate, but you know, uh, most of the time it's just like that. Okay, so. Stop a, making a curve. They got a crooked eye. Yeah, they have crooked eye or something like that. Now, are we still chicken scratch? Scratching? Have we started uh, doing any art yet? Lightly oh. chicken scratch. The mouth is the most difficult part. So, yes, I, I, I do have to focus a little bit. When you get to the mouth, you'll officially be no longer chicken scratch. You'll actually be doing art. I'm still scratching. But more serious scratch, light scratch now. Okay, I gotta read my kids to school so they don't have to leave the line. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, now time to draw a little tea. Teeth? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh my god, look at that creepy. Okay, now from here, you just imagine this. You just draw it out, touch the T, and go through it, making a little curve. Okay. And then the mouth, it have a it have a big lower lip. Okay, like my lip have a big lower lips okay so you just start from here from the point you have to keep the point and you go down all the way to 
Mm, probably right here. Mm, let me see. The distance of this push should be equal to distance. This has a big bottom lip. Like a big McDonald's lip. Mm -hmm. McDonald's? McDonald's. McDonald's. Like a clown? Like a clown. Madonna? <clears throat> when we have those kind of drains around here, when we go walking at night, it's creepy. Sure. Talking about drain, even the bed is creepy. I'm afraid something come out and cut my heckly ankles. <laughs> okay. See that lips, big lip, that DSL lip? That what you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw two little mark beside it. But first I'm gonna draw the little laugh line. See that? It's laughing. A laugh line for it. Now this is you have to really examine it, okay? This is not a simple curve, it's curved halfway. <laughs> When it start here, it's curved immediately. It's immediately curved, but then it's go all the way here and it's kind of curved back a little. See, see it's through the eye, that's, that's another curve opposite way. So it's a sway almost. And then it's go up, okay? Remember that. Okay, the other one. When is the next live one? Uh, Monday. This week I'm, uh, I have some client. Still do now for five people, so I have to work this week. Okay, just like that. Now, the chin, okay, is start right from here, the corner of the mouth, is start right here and it's curved. Okay, you see that chin? And then, the, 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 the how do you call it? Cheek? cheek? The cheek, you go down, you curve down, past the mouth, and then you blend in with the chin. So let's draw the chin first. Chin, chin first. Chin, mm-hmm. Not chin, chin. Just like that. Now the cheek, caught is a little big for the nails. So I'm just imagining that there's cheek right here. And going down, and it's blend in with the chin. We'll shoot for next Monday, Anna Marie. Answer your question. If not, it'll definitely be next Wednesday. What, be what question? That won't win the next line would be. Oh, Monday. Yeah. Okay, it has some hair. See that hair? Notice it's little. The spot right here, and then the red, it just behind it. So you draw a little spot for it. Okay, and then down here is uh, ripple, ripple. Okay, let's paint it. So first, coconut water break. I need uh, to chew out the colors. Okay, now you see uh, there is a few color in there, so you're lucky. But not much color. There is a red. You have to have, have red, and you have some kind of yellow to make an orange. That's it. Okay, the rest of the face pigment. Okay, see that all the shadow, all the gray. 
don't even bother to paint. Use pigments. So I'm going to take this mat and apply it on. To take this mat and apply it on. Ah, uh, probably uh, midwet is ten for sure. Yeah, Cast uh, oh, twenty, twenty-five, thirties. Dallas have a lot of money on Dallas. Um, you need these pigment right here with this like bluish purple. That should be easy. Some kind of grayish. So you take a pigment and uh, purples. And you know how expensive it is, depending on how many layers you use. <coughs> I have to watch a cartoon after watching horror movies. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Purple and then add uh, white in there to lighten it up. Now, if you want, you can add some yellow to counter that purple to make it gray. So you can add just a little bit of yellow to make it grayish. Just add a little more. And then a little more blue. Go ahead and uh, dust it on the clown. It's okay. Oh, I can I can have oh, Have the brush. Oh, God. So it can be classy. So unprofessional. I know. Okay, the side of the face. It's the teeth that really <clears throat> get it going in on. Right. Oh, keep blowing it. God, Damn it. God. Damn it. How we started our day. Okay. <clears throat> That's it up. Okay. Now, a little more shadow on the eye right here. How does the pigment stick? To matte top coat. Remember, five, se uh, five seconds? That's a basic rule to, uh, to you know, uh, technique. Mm -hmm. Always remember that five seconds for the matte. Always. Now, if it's not matte, when you take it out, then you have to kill it for a couple more seconds. It just depend on how strong or weak your light is. Your LED light or your UV light. Okay, now I'm ready for drawing. So, um, let's uh, do the eye first. In the eyes, it's drawing in attention of creepy. Oh, so, uh, I'm just taking a, a white, pure white, and I'm going to apply it right on the, the eyeball. But not all the way, just a slash, just like that. Okay. So make sure you know where your stroke's going to go before you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to paint it um, black. 
in here. This is a black polish. Can draw on top of it only curing for five seconds. Mm hmm Here it is. Now, if you want, you can keep curing it. You can finish because it's only five seconds. You can finish the cure cycle and then top coat it with matte and then draw on it. So you don't if you mess up you can wipe it out. But if you're confident about yourself, then you can just draw directly <coughs> on it. Let's say you uh, uh layers. I'm gonna get a uh, yellow. So, like the liner gel, the bright yellows. So if you get to a point and then you here, you might mess it up. Then you top coat it. Top coat and protect it. If you first start it out, you definitely want to top coat it before you draw it on. But then that will make you use uh, a layer, a whole layer for that, a top coat. A whole layer, he You put a lot of layer on, then you have to um, come back later and shape it before you finish. The top coat. Okay, a yellow slit inside for the for the eye. See that? Instead of putting on yellow and do a black outline and a dot in the middle, I do all black first, and then now I just have to do a slit yellow inside. Like this. See that? Here it is. Mm -hmm. You can tackle the whole pencil drawing and then you can paint on it. Okay, now I'm gonna eye, uh, give it some eyeliner. Eyeliner? Mm -hmm. No, Justin, it's not your nails. Could you imagine sitting next to Nino, Tino producing shitty nails while his ladies were walking out of here with these masterpieces? <laughs> Somebody has to distract the clients. We're a team. I'm gonna paint on the eyebrow very lightly because it's not very distinct, the eyebrow. Because some ladies don't realize that he's designing and figuring out 10 different palettes that for efficiency and time, you need to have already lined out that when you're gonna use black, you're gonna use my these four nails and then you're gonna <clears throat> have brown on these three nails and it has to be layered and well thought out. So my job is to distract him for the first 25 minutes until he gets it all mapped out and then boom. He gets this little smile on his face when he has it all figured out. <laughs> and then he then then he'll talk. Okay, are you flat first for the shadow? Do you know or have you tried black pigment or like a black eyeshadow? Um, 
that's an in i like it i like the concept uh i want to i just so busy lately um so later on later on i'll do it okay and yay just know that this got her pigments and that she can tackle mm -hmm. if you see the makeup wood is rising right now and see the power of makeup of what it can do you should understand that how powerful pigment can be when you master the art of pigment that's mean you can make up you can put makeup on the nails it would just kind of look creepy like the joker right now where you can red line and stuff in there man that was a good show wasn't it gotham gotham oh my god i love gotham And this is not solid black. I mix it with matte, by the way. With matte? Mm -hmm. So you can figure out a little bit. Mm -hmm. How much did you mix? I, um... About one to four. 50-50. 50-50? Mm -hmm. Wow. Because you can always take uh, the filler brush. This is a filler brush that I'm using. You can take the filler brush, dip it in some matte top coat, and just drag this out. Okay. See how cool the filler brush is? Just drag it out. We have a brush total now. Yeah, I would say this kind of art definitely not less than a hundred. Oh yes. Yeah, that's, that's what all these other little techniques and designs are about. They're really they're fast, quick, and easy. You know. And, and you don't have to sell it. You can just put it there with a price and make them want it. You know, want it. They, if they want it, they have to pay. 100%. If you try to sell it, then that leave room for bargain. They can. Say, oh, can you make it a little cheaper? Oh, I don't know. But. If they, if you just put it there and you're not selling it, they have to see and admire it and they, eventually they're going to want it. Mm -hmm. They want to have to pay for it because you don't say a word. So they cannot just like, oh, that design like that. I love it so much. Can you give me a discount? No, they see a price in there already. They want you to pay for it. If not, <clears throat> you will get more respect on your client because now they see something extravagant, even if they cannot afford it. Even if they can get like a French manicure, they can respect your work and trust you right. and know that you are a master. Right. And when you get some respect from your client, you get different reaction. Because if the client doesn't respect you and think that uh, you're just mediocre and an option that you can, uh, you can be replaced, oh, they treat you like crap. They become instant bitches. And, yeah, and, and you don't want that. You want respect from your client. You want to show up and say, look at that. Look at what I can do. I can yeah. drop you like in a, in a second. I can just drop you and get someone new. I can always do that. Remember, I have all the power. You just need to have that vibe to your client so you can get more respect. So they, they can, you know, try to make it easier for you. Uh, you know, try not to like, no, no, no. Chewing right. gum and they, um, they, they take your eating M&M and, 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 and take yes. consideration with it. And in doing so, it makes the energy a lot better flow. You have to know that when you give them a look, they have to be like, oh, and, you know, well, know because I'm they're afraid you. of you removing them. You have yeah. to have that power. If you don't, then, oh, my God, in about 10 years, you're going to have back problem, wrist problem from doing this and from fighting with them that they obnoxious yeah they have to fear you mm -hmm. and then you okay now i'm gonna take red and then when it comes to having a portfolio when they see other of your better work somewhere around town and they're getting compliments for something that you know then they feel like they need to afford oh it yes now. they have to have you now at that point the control is yours that's when you rate price. When all of them are like that, that's when you rate your price. Looking for red. 
red. I see a red. This red, but it's a little bit too orange. Um, I need to add a little blue pigment in it. Yeah, so I just make sure <laughs> Just to make sure that it's a little colder than the typical red. Okay. Now I'm gonna use um liner brush to paint on the lips. All right, all right, got, got it. Have fun at the beach. Ooh. Okay. That's fun. Okay. Uh, did you answer my? What was the question about the base coat? What about? Re-ask your question, Polish by P. Okay. Now, upper lips. Yes, the stiff finger ladies. Yeah, the chicken feet fingers. Chicken feet fingers? <laughs> Some, sometimes I will make a uh, common like, um, Oh, you put on lotion? Do you like to put on lotion? Oh, no. You know, I might come in like that. Like, oh, you know, you should try this lotion. Oh, my God. I put on lotion every day. You just try that. You know? Or, <laughs> or, or you can be like, oh, my God, I, I love how dry your hand is. It's perfect for acrylic. But you know what? After we do now, just try some lotion. You know, stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, here was a question. Um... Can you put base coat before top coat to smooth out your designs if you don't have a mat that goes with your top coat? Repeat that. Okay. <clears throat> Can you put base coat before top coat to smooth out your design if you don't have a mat that goes with the top coat? When it comes to cell leveling, it really doesn't matter what you use. You can, you don't have to put base coat. You can just put top coat and then put on another one of top coat. So yeah, the base coat is dangerous. Yeah. Base coat, it can bleed things. It can make things bleed. Bleed. Mm -hmm. It can make um, pain bleed sometimes, depending on the brand. It, it it's, it's not your best friend. It's like it's like a friend, but it's not your best friend. You don't you don't I, I, I I'm always go to Matt and Shine. Basically I put it a little far away because I'm cautious at that. She she's dangerous. She's very dangerous. Um so when it comes to cell leveling, I, I use uh Shandit. Because Shandit is, is cell level. Even Matt is cell level, but I use Shandit. So you don't have to put base coat and then top coat. You can just put top coat two times. Remember, base coat, she's, she's not friendly. Mm -mm, she a bitch. We got about 25 minutes, so thanks, as for us. Thank you. Can, can, we, can you use eyeshadow as pigment? Uh, now, I never tried that, so I don't want to leave you an answer, but you should. You should be able to. You should be able to. I don't want to leave you that answer because I haven't tried it, but based on theory, that should work. Mm -hmm. uh, but it have to be a really good brand though, because uh, that was uh, eyeshadow is made up is uh, pigment cosmetic pigment. So it it, it depend on what brand um, that are the best. And when you practice, try to do it as slow as possible, like this, um, so you can spot out the mistake and everything like that and uh after you practice after you succeed with it then you practice for about five times so um when your client come in you can just drag and roll you don't have to try to remember what step and try to figure anything out you can just dive into it and go for it mm -hmm. so you don't think we should use base coat on nails when coloring them so they won't chip? No, 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 no. Not on uh, acrylic. I never use base coat on acrylic. Now, on manicure, yes, definitely. You need a good base coat. But acrylic is already porous. 
So you need your real nails. nails. Uh -huh. nails. Yes, you have to. You have to have an intense base coat process, prepping and everything like that, and natural nail. But um, on acrylic nail, I never put base coat on ever. It's just an extra layer that you don't need. Unless you buffer it, really shine or something like that, but you shouldn't. Okay. Now, what else do I miss? Oh, I need to add more eyeshadow for the eye. It needs more eyeshadow. Yeah, like that. Make it evil looking. And then I remove a little bit of it. What is the sandwich effect? I want to know what you think of the sandwich effect. Oh, um, I like it, but for all that work, with, with that effect, I never demonstrated. I mean, I can, but the Russian made it. Uh, I like it. I like the process and everything. It's just, I don't think the look worth it. Probably because I'm 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 not I don't have um uh a go to with uh, poly gels. I mean I have it, but it's it's acrylic is my medium. So when it comes to the sandwich effect, I don't know. I do that sometimes, but mm -hmm. I have a thing for poly gels. I don't know why. It's no, it just, yeah, that's, it's just a thing in body chair that I couldn't put my finger on. It's annoying me. To me, it's very light. It's like, uh, I can't feel it. No. Uh, to, where, to where I'm, I, I, I literally felt like I didn't have nails on. It's it just annoying me. Weird. It's annoying me because I, I know that it's just to make it easier for people to use. So it's like, hmm, that means you're not good at acrylic. You're going to say you're lying. Yes. But well, that's probably what that one would done. Get this. Cool. Eventually, we'll catch up on everything, though. Yep. Just I'm level saying, one I was, technique. I was thinking this morning that Technique? Uh, acrylic. Oh, acrylic. Maybe give them some shortcuts. You know, because I'm okay. sure there's people, you know, okay. I, I know you put so much thought into everything. You come up and just over and over until you get the perfect, perfect way. All right. I want to answer the question earlier about the uh, left handed. Yeah, it, it does seem to me be more difficult in the classes that we have went to, but I know that Tino's always been able to help people. Yes, left hand people are more um challenged but uh special. They're special. Most of them are artists. I mean you got about fifteen to twenty minutes before it cuts off so let's chit chat more painting. You gotta speed paint now. We're not trying to make you feel ripped okay, up. Okay. We need to into this shit. We can't Okay, uh, God. What, what, such a rush. Okay, Shaniqua. Gosh. Yeah. I'll give you like 12 minutes. Oh my God. How outrageous. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's blend it up a little bit. You want me to go pick out an orange or something for the. There you go. Oh, you already got it. Okay, this. You want me to go mix anything? Grab anything? Help? I don't know. It's quite a struggle, you know. Are we going to go back on again today? Uh, I don't want to say two. Uh, we go back on... Um... We don't have to say two. We'll just go back on. Okay, maybe. Maybe? Maybe no, we do a... Like maybe we do a pop-on. A pop-on? Mm -hmm. Because right now, right now, the live is safe, so you can watch it anytime before uh, we can save live. So we try to fit in as much hour as possible now. We can always view all the safe life. Life is wonderful now. Oh, that you want to see me? 
They just want to see my, what do you call it, present. Your presence, right. Yes. And then sometimes, you know, it's, it's not all about art, just sitting back and, and, and talking about things that you've discovered, the different angles, you know, things right. you've seen over the years. The... Maybe I, I show up and I clean in a fox costume. In a fox costume. Yes. Ooh, that would make Instagram go viral. Right. Ooh. I just want to see the and then kick me out at the same time, too. Ooh. I, I'm I didn't worry about seeing the tail. I feel like somehow that'd be in the way. But some cute little bunny here. Ooh, like a bunny fox. Uh, here, this, uh, this is Matt. Nice Full here. Fur around the wrist. <laughs> you know, since I was a little boy, I always want to um, whip people's men, older men. Um, I know. It's so weird. My mom, you know, my mom put me in Catholic school when I was little, just because I was so honest with my opinions, I guess. I, whatever. Anyway, the priest was hot, though. Yes, uh, yes, I remember that Lala Gosi. Yes, I have long hair. Um, And then one day, I just decided to cut it in five minutes. I just chop it all off. I think I look younger with short hair. I look more vibrant. More vibrant? Yeah. Okay. So you can take a pictures. You can take pictures. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys have fun mm -hmm. with this live. Um, next live, we're going to do more Halloween gonna try to fit in as much Halloween as possible. But uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should give you seven different sets to practice for a week. Seven. No, actually for like four days. Seven different sets. Mm -hmm. So out of each one now they should be able to design a whole set out of that. Of course. Oh okay. yeah. So it's the gateway. But you don't do it in all fingers. You build off of it. Right. Like if I do a witch, right? If I do a witch, then this would be my ring fingers. The uh my index and pinky, okay? It will be the background only. Maybe with star, but not with a witch. Or maybe just a background, okay? And then the middle finger, I might have just this glitters or all black with glitter, I'm right like that, with Swarovski crystal or uh, I mean Dreamtime crystal. And then, um, and then, uh, so that is the wish set and this fire set, I can have the index and the ring like that. And then uh, the middle and I mean, the rest of the finger, I can just have a nude and orange ombre or nude and black ombre or all black. See that? And this, I can have the ring and the thumb finger like this. So you have that ring and thumbs. And then the middle one, I can have um, the just nude with rose gold, uh, rose gold um, crystals. And then the index and the pinky, I can have nude with green, purple, blue ombre, mm -hmm. or just a tips, like green, purple, blue tips with pigment. Mm -hmm. Don't have to be an ombre. The smoke, I, I can either have all finger like that, like the smoke, and then I will star like a moon and the ring finger couple of stars on the index and the pinky, some crystals on um, the middle fingers. Or the middle finger can do all black with crystal. And then these same things, mm -hmm. I can do uh, like a um, couple fingers, like index and uh, pinkies, uh, like that. And then the rest, I can just do either all black with crystals or um, or uh, black with uh, white ombre and then with pigment on the white so it looked like a bunch of aurora pigment uh, faded with black. Then if you know what to do, 
ring finger on it middle finger is black background with a balloon maybe with a, some yellow dot like a kid um, holding it and then the rest could be uh, black and uh, blood dripping or white and blood dripping thing like that or uh, white and black ombre blah 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 uh, cast same things or background colors or candy corn and then black uh, cat and star and which it on the other um, just just as a uh, design so now you know what to do now so do that so do that <laughs> somebody want to know if that was a uh, loose glitter or gel um this one is a uh unicorn glitz and it's i don't know if it's available yet but it should be because uh, i already sent uh the script and everything to cindy at dream time creation so it it will be available very soon, maybe in a couple of days, or if not, it's already available on the uh, Glitz and Glam's category on tinovo.shop. So I hope you enjoy the live today. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. Uh, tune Vanity Bar, you can check it later. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to get up live now because I don't want to be kicked out. All right, so. I will see you on Monday. Um, however, we might pop on um, because remember, I always talking about pop on. So if I, because sometimes I feel like going on live, but I don't have anything scheduled. And I think, oh, well, if I don't have a schedule, I shouldn't go on because if I go <laughs> on, the it's a wrong thinking. So from now on, if I feel like going on, I can just pop on even without schedule because it, I always uh, save it anyway. So I might do a pop on um, from now until Monday. It's just that I don't want to do another live tonight because then I have to save it again. So now my my side have three posts saved today, and I always have one uh, post or at least um, or the map is two posts. But I never post three in the same day. It's scare me. It's scare me. It's really scary to me <laughs> because I don't want it affect my algorithm. So this is the second post I'm going to post today. I already posted a video this morning. So uh, I will see you guys um, on Monday. Mm. Have a good evening, Mama Big. Mm. Oh, look. That's pretty. She is. I think mm -hmm. she's Italian. Um, yeah.